what to expect when getting arrested in the UK part two. So to follow on from my last video, I did forget to mention that the police will always take your finger and handprints. They will do this no matter how many times you've been arrested. They used to do this with black ink, which would take ages to come off. Now it's all done digitally. They will also take a DNA swab from the inside of your cheek, your face cheek that is. And they will take a photo of you from the front and from the side. Now this could be your big break. A few people have become famous from their mug shots alone and gone on to have a career in modeling. So maybe if you're a looker, the next time you fall on hard times, go for a fresh haircut, jump on the tanning bed, get yourself arrested and wait for the phone calls to come flooding in from all the modeling agencies. When you're first checked into police custody, they will ask many questions such as, do you understand why you've been arrested? Have you taken any legal or illegal substances within the last 24 hours? Have you taken any alcohol in the last 24 hours? Are you on any kind of medication? At this time, do you require any medical attention? Do you currently or have you ever had any thoughts about harming yourself? They will ask you if you would like to notify anybody about your situation. If you do, they will dial the number you give them and they'll pass you the phone. They will let you know that you have just a minute and they will tell you not to discuss any details about the reason you're being held there. They will make sure the phone call is being monitored at all times. You will call your mum or your missus and clearly state that the police have arrested you for no reason and that you are completely innocent. You will make sure that all the officers in the room can hear you say this. Yeah, that will fool them. I just wondered whether you could get away with giving them a premium adult sex line to dial as your one phone call. If any of you fancy giving this a go the next time you get arrested, then please let me know in the comments how it goes. The most important question they will ask is, do you have a solicitor? If you don't, then they will offer you what's called an on duty solicitor. This is a free solicitor who will come see you before your interview listen to what you have to say and then help put a defense together as well as sit with you during your interview advising you throughout let's talk about solicitors okay so if you're guilty then in my opinion you definitely need a solicitor if you're innocent in my opinion you definitely need a solicitor i used to have the attitude that if i asked for a solicitor then i'd look guilty now I'm at the age I am, I realised that I used to be too hung up on how I appeared to the police and other insignificant things. It doesn't matter what you're wearing when you get arrested. It doesn't matter if you speak well and are polite to the police officers. It doesn't matter if on your phone call you clearly tell your mum that you aren't guilty. It doesn't matter if you say you would like to use a solicitor. All those things are irrelevant and not going to be a factor when the police decide whether they have enough evidence to charge you for the crime you are being held for. I ended up getting on really well with an on-duty solicitor who later became the solicitor I use all the time after he opened his own business. If you know a solicitor or can build a relationship with one, then they will have much more of an invested interest in you. If you can afford a solicitor, that is always the best option as they will feel like they are working for you as opposed to just doing you a favor before they whiz on to help the person in the next cell. By the way, not all solicitors are the same with the same morals. I was once arrested in Loughborough around 17 years ago. I'd been on a night out with the lads and ended up in getting into a fight with a group of strangers at the end of the night. I was arrested and spent the night in a holding cell in Loughborough. The room was cold, food was awful, blanket was itchy, one star. When I sobered up at the police station the next morning, as I was in a different town and as I wanted to get the interview done and out of the police station as fast as possible, I didn't request my normal solicitor as it would have taken him too long to drive out to me. Instead, I requested an on-duty solicitor. 
Halfway through the police interview, I asked for private time with my solicitor and went over the video evidence that the police had just presented to us. At one point, I said something along the lines of, I think I pushed that guy first, you know, but you can't see that on the camera footage that we're looking at. You only see him swinging at me. So I'm going to say that he swung for me unprovoked and that everything I did was in self-defense. Immediately, my solicitor said that I couldn't say that. I looked at her like, why? And she said that as I had admitted in front of her that what I was going to claim wasn't true, she wasn't able to allow me to say it. I was gutted. Because of that, I ended up receiving the harshest punishment due to that one mistake, which now I think back, I did deserve. Now, let me tell you about my regular solicitor. I would tell him exactly what I did and he would tell me exactly what to say, changing dates, places, events, anything that would work out in my favour. Then we'll go to court and put our act on. Now I think back, I realised that it wasn't morally correct at all, but at the time I never complained and his old attitude was the reason I loved working with him and would regularly take him gifts for helping me get out of tight messes. As I said, not all solicitors are the same. I'm going to do a longer video all about the police interview, but I realised that I skipped solicitors, so I thought I'd do a quick upload to cover that. I swear to you, all those comments in my last video made me so happy that I wanted to jump back on and do another video for my few followers. So thanks for watching. Peace.